the FCC <clears throat> announced this. In fact, I've got this right here. Uh, let me switch over right here. I put this video up in January of 2021. So it was like, what, 14 months ago, 15 months ago, something like that. FCC sets amateur license fee at $35. But they didn't, they, they suggested it would be that summer, I think. And the, but they never really said at first what it would be, what the date would be. And they didn't really ever say that until just recently. So I guess it was what a week or two ago that they finally announced what in the world the uh, the fee was gonna when the fees were going to actually start and take place and what they were going to entail. At first, they wanted to do a fifty dollar fee when this was brand new. They wanted to do a fifty dollar fee for new new technician license, and there was some discrepancy back and forth about whether that would include upgrades for general and extra, or vanity calls, or change of address and whatnot. But then they said that they were is not going to be fifty dollars, and it was going to be thirty five dollars. And then I watched your video last week, Ria, about the upgrade thing. So I'm going to let you talk about that here in a second. But what's the latest thing? You, you've got an inside <clears throat> track to the ARRL, okay? And we're so, we're mostly going to talk about ham radio stuff tonight. But a lot of this does include GMRS license, which is currently seventy dollars for ten years, and there that's going to be dropping to thirty five dollars for ten years. Uh, right, right about the same time. So, Rhea, what, what's your take on this whole thing? Just give us your uh, your kind of so, inside scoop on it. Yeah, so if I'm talking about the GMRS fees, I have to put on the, the, the dim lights and cue the Not a Rubicon music and stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and yeah. talk about sad hams and <laughs> right. all the, the comments we're going to mark. Anyway, um, so <laughs> right, this, right. As, as everybody knows, these fees are part of the, part of the Ray Baums Act. And... Mm -hmm. The AWRL did manage to get us exempted from spectrum fees. Somehow, um, application fees, we didn't get exempted from that. And I don't have the history of that to say exactly what happened. Mm. I have a feeling somebody look, looked in a word processor and they didn't copy, they didn't search and find everything. But um, <laughs> Okay. Yeah. I, I wish I was kidding. But um, <laughs> no, I think you're not kidding. That's that's why I'm laughing at it. <laughs> well, so we're we're stuck with fees. Initially, they were set at fifty dollars, which was mm -hmm. an arbitrary number by the FCC. Then we and others, you know, um, complained about it, and then mm -hmm. you know they said, okay, it's thirty five. Now, in the back of my mind, I'm probably thinking, well, you know, they probably had thirty five in their mind, but you know, they said let's let's dangle fifty and get them to negotiate down to thirty five. Right. Uh, but you know, so that they announced this back then. And then, of course, with everything, there's technology. OK, mm -hmm. so they had to basically now adjust the FCC systems to actually get the um, the, the mechanism for fee collection. Mm -hmm. And that took a while. Right. So there are mm -hmm. other bureaus within the FCC who were also going to be charged fees. They're going to be charged a lot more, like the media bureau, which handles like TV stations and radio stations. Those got their fees last year. We were the last ones because we had a mechanism, you know, we had a few things um, specific to us and then eventually they got the computers fixed and then it's going to go live on April 19th. Mm -hmm. So it's $35 for new licenses, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is 30, um, $35 for renewals after your 10 year term mm -hmm. $35 for, and this, this is the part I hate the most. <laughs> okay. Vanity call sign applications. This means okay. if you apply for vanity and uh -huh. you do not get the vanity, um, you will incur that fee. Really? Okay. See, Whether there's been you... some back. I, I've seen some, ambiguous information on that because some people say no that's not happening they wouldn't do that so, oh yeah they're they're kind of trying to screw the vanity thing up and like okay all right so if you apply for a vanity license a vanity call sign and right. usually when you apply for a i've never done a vanity i don't really have any interest in it but usually when you apply for vanity you have to pick three or four right you just don't do one and it's it's yes you or can, no, right you can pick one i picked one and i got one um, okay. But back back okay. then, I, I paid twenty dollars, you know. But back then, it was you know, if you didn't get it, you don't pay the fee. You know? Right, right, yeah. Okay, so you're gonna have to pay a thirty five dollar fee even if you don't get it this time. Right. Okay. I think I really think we need to go back to the FCC and rework that because I think that mm -hmm. that's wrong. I think that you know yeah. you're paying for nothing. You know, I think you should only pay for successful. To be honest. 
Yeah, no, that makes sense to me. Yeah, a denied. I mean, if if the call sign is not available, then they shouldn't be charging you for it. So, right. a quick question uh, in the yeah. chat here it says, please explain vanity, the vanity call signs. So vanity means so when you when you get your ham radio license, the FCC gives you a call sign for free, right? And then you can either choose to keep that call sign, you can apply for another call sign of your own choosing that's available. Or believe it or not, and that, those, that's, that's a vanity or, you know, it's just like a vanity license plate. Mm -hmm. Or you can apply for another sy um, systematically issued call sign. Like, let's say you got fed up a KC5 HWB, but you didn't want to choose, you know, um, something else. You could just apply for another call sign. So just pick the next one coming up. Yeah. That will also mm -hmm. incur a $35 fee. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So uh, mm -hmm. Phil Kratz says vanity is anything other than a two by three. I don't think that's true. You can get a two by three no. vanity. So vanity is just something like a lot of guys get like Rhea. Rhea is into RJ. So RJ is her initials. Right. Um, a lot of people get their initials. K8 MRD. MRD is Mike's initials. Um, so that's – I. I I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I just, I've never had the desire to get my initials and my call sign, but that's what a lot of people do. That's what, that's what, and there's, a, you know, like I said, there's nothing wrong with that. I just, I don't care to do that myself, but, yeah. um, but yeah, a lot of people will get their initials and a call sign. Some guy got to, I, I know guys who have a DMR W five DMR is a call sign that, uh, one of the guys in, in town here has, and he put that on his DMR repeater. Uh, Cause he want, he's big into DMR. So that kind of stuff. So anything like that's kind of specialized where you get to pick the letters is a vanity call sign. So, yeah. And you know, a lot of contesters choose, choose short call signs, you know, one yeah. by two and two by one. And this is going to be problematic for them, for people who want to get one, because those are such short supply. They get like one or two, and then you got like 50 people applying for it. I like to right. add a little bit onto that with right. the uh, one by twos or uh, two two by ones. You have to be an extra, even a two by two, mm -hmm. which I was trying to do. You have to be an extra to get a, or an a two by two. To, to get advanced, a two by two, yes. you have to be an extra or advanced. To get a two by one or a one by two, you need to be an extra. And for technicians or generals, you can apply and get the two by threes. Right. right. Or you can get one by, one by three. Right. A one by right. three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't think three. of a good of one by three. Well, so. wait, there is there is more. So there is more. Um, yeah, the VEC department um, clarified. So basically, the FCC had a meeting with all of these VECs, right? Okay. Uh, they had like a Zoom call, and you know they they kind of like got together and said, "Well, you know, this is coming down. This is what you got to do." Um, and then Maria Soma from the ARRL, um, uh, our very hardworking v VEC staff um she asked the fcc well what about upgrades because when you upgrade you don't really get a new license term right you get right. like you know let's say you have five years left in your license you get an upgrade and you get five years you know you get to write out the five years remaining years mm -hmm. the fcc said that is a modification and it will not attract a fee right so right. if you upgrade from you know if you upgrade from general to extra or if tank upgrades from general to extra, or somebody, other people upgrade for general Happened extra, before they don't Jason. pay a fee. Mm -mm. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you know. But, but I, yeah, I so, do like so, that. Uh, so there's my, no fee for upgrades because this also encourages right. upgrades. Right. Correct. Yes. So my license, ex and, and I was confused on that several years back, several, seven or eight years ago, whenever that was, then I got my general upgrade because I thought, oh, I'll just, you know, get my general upgrade and it'll extend mm -hmm. my license for another 10 years. But no. That, that that's not the case. My license will expire in July of 2024. So just mm -hmm. a little bit over two years from now. And if I get an extra upgrade between now and then, my license will still expire in, Jan in July of 2024. And I'll have to pay the $35 fee to renew my license at that time. So that's a, my, my wife was asking me that earlier today. She's like, well, I read your notes. What do you, how does that affect us? And I'm like, it won't affect us until we get, until we have to renew our license at the end right. of the, the term. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, good. Okay, good information. Well, okay. So we've got a cool uh, article from the ARRL here that I wanted to share. And yeah. um, if you want, so this is a this is a whole ahead. web portal about everything about the fees. But I'll let you go through it. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was just yeah, I was going to let you go through it. But FCC okay. released a public notice on March twenty third. This is about two weeks ago, stating that the amateur radio application fees, including those associated with Form six hundred five application fees, what is what is Form six hundred five? So the Form 605, whenever you do anything related to amateur radio, you fill out a Form 605. Now it's pretty much, um, you know, you go to a V session and they hand you one and you fill it out and that's okay. it really, you know. Yeah. 
Okay. Or so if form, you, if you, if you do it electronically, like you renew a license, it's also form six, six Oh five. Okay. Okay. Good. So the, uh, this would become effective on April 19th. Uh, the FCC's authority to impose and collect fees is mandated by Congress. $35 application fee when it becomes effective April 19th will apply to new modification upgrade and subscribe. Upgrade and sequential call sign change, renewal and vanity call sign. The fee will be per application. So that's a little bit misleading, if you ask me. Yeah, I because it I think, sounds like that's where it's not worded very well. Right. What I think happened was because you know the AWRL took down the website for some um, some back end um, upgrades. Yeah. I think that they haven't upgraded updated that page. Okay. Uh, to reflect the latest information. But the other the other thing is that. Um, uh, another good point is that address changes, name changes, um, updating your telephone number or email address because the FCC requires email addresses now. Um, yeah. It's not going to incur a fee. And and changing club station trustees, that's another thing. Like, you know, clubs have elections every year. So right. you have to update the trustees every so often. But that's mm-hmm. not going to incur a fee. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Okay. So, yeah, that, that yeah, that needs to be updated there because it's... It is a little bit. I can see yeah. why people are confused because there's, and and quite frankly, the FCC has changed their mind several times about what they want to do. Right. So it's not really the AWRL's fault or any. By two way radios has a bunch of information. It's not their fault. The FCC hasn't really. It's typical government bureaucracy. They they don't know what they're going to do until two weeks after they've done it. So, um, mm. but right now we're looking at just again for those who just joined us, we're just looking at brand new licenses, and which is good for ten years. And at the end of that 10 years, when you renew, uh, you have to pay again and then for vanities, but not for upgrades. Is that, did I say that correctly, Rhea? Yeah. Not for okay. upgrades, not for address or administrative, you know, things like right. address yeah. name. When you move. Yeah. That kind of mm-hmm. stuff. Or you want to send your license to PO box, you know? Mm-hmm. 